Okay, so we're going to build a gravel bed now for our second dome. And um, we're going to make it 8 feet long, 3 feet wide. It's going to be 10 inches deep. We're going to lie it with, line it with Duroscrim liner like we lined the other ones in the uh, deep water system. Um, we're going to use uh, 3 quarter inch plywood for the bottom. We're going to use 2 by 10s for the sides and um, we'll use 4 by 4s to reinforce or for the legs and then we'll reinforce the bottom with 2 by 4s. So to begin with we'll fasten the sides to the bottom, screwing them in through the bottom. So here's the the uh, gravel bed. I haven't attached the legs yet. I just cut these 4 by 4s to 18 inches, which is the height we're using, just so we can stay above the tank. Um, sides with the plywood attached through the bottom. Cut these sides down. Screwed them on to the sides. So, like I said, I cut the 4x4 four four legs. We're going to attach those now. And, um, then we're going to reinforce the bottom and reinforce the legs. So this is how we uh, braced it up and did the bottom. This is the gravel bed. We put six legs, six four by four legs. We ran two by fours in between them. And then we ran 2x4 across to support the plywood and center long ways to support them, support all that gravel weight. Alright, so we made a slight modification to the gravel bed. We had originally put these end sides on the outside of this, these long ones. And we decided it would work better going on the in between them. So we popped them off, cut them to size, and screwed them back in. So that's how we did that. There's our gravel bed, all sturdied up underneath, solid. Gonna hold a lot of weight. Gonna hold a lot of gravel in here. So that's about where we're at right now. Um, we're gonna call it a day. We'll keep rolling and keep filming as we're as we progress and we'll bring it to you as it comes along so that's it for now